So, I've been thinking about a close call story. And ironically, watching Jay's video as a young kid, almost getting his head knocked off by a chain off a go-kart, reminded me of my, I think it's my best close call story, because it's actually one that could have uh, really messed me up. But I'll make it kind of brief. I'm 16 or 17 years old. This is back in probably 76. Um, and at that time in my life, I was a very avid water skier. We would water ski all we could. It was something, water skiing is a big deal in Oklahoma. And we got a lot of lakes, and uh, that's what I did. And me and a couple of buddies of ours, excuse me, me and a couple of buddies of mine decided that um, we would go water skiing at Lake Texoma, which is a lake right on the border. I just ate, probably should have waited. Uh, right on the border of Oklahoma and Texas. And this was like early March, which is uh, absolutely freezing in Oklahoma. The water was freezing. It was freezing. It was stupid. We were young and, and bulletproof, so it didn't bother us. Plus, we had these cheap little crappy wetsuits that didn't really fit, but we tried it. We did it. Well, during the wintertime, um, things float up from the bottom of the lake or things fall into the lake and there hasn't been enough time for them to be cleaned out. When I say things, I'm talking about large logs, big chunks of styrofoam, all kinds of weird stuff. And the styrofoam comes from docks. And so it's just floating around out there. So we've been out water skiing the better part of the day and dodging these... Um, obstacles in the lake. Well, the end of the day was there and we were headed back into shore and um, we're in a, a inboard outboard boat. You know, an outboard motor hangs on the back end of the boat, you know, the whole thing's out. An inboard outboard is just like it sounds like. There's a motor in the boat and then there's a big lower unit that hangs down um, into the water which pushes the boat, obviously has the prop. And then there's a steering column that attaches to that lower unit, and that's what you steer with. So we're flying back into shore, and this is a pretty powerful boat. And we're probably doing 45 miles per hour. And at that, as we're going along, I hear this thump. And within just milliseconds after hearing that thump, I hear, and I look up, and that propeller blade is hanging right here in front of my face. We had locked, knocked the entire lower unit off that boat by hitting a log at about 45 or 50 miles per hour. And the only thing that kept that prop from coming over and taking off my face and possibly my head was that steering column. I can still remember seeing that entire unit up in my face and that little steering column hanging on to it came up, <laughs> fell back in the water, and of course we're stuck. Now I was probably up here literally for less than a second, but man, it felt like a long time. There are certain things in your life that you can look back on and you just don't forget them. So that's my close call story. Everybody take care. Bye.